Sorry. What is the biggest misconception that people have of you guys? I know it is. I feel like one of the biggest, biggest mis misconceptions that people have of us that pisses me off is that I pay for everything. It pisses her off. I just pay all the bills in the house. Like, <laughs> they think that I pay every, like, that's insane. Like, we both have our own money and we have individual, yeah. I mean, we have joint money. What's, What's up, up YouTube? YouTube? We are back with another video. Another one. Another vlogmas <laughs> mother freaking video. I know you guys missed us so much yesterday, but we're recording this for you guys today and recording another one for today again so we can catch up. Mm -hmm. So we decided to be a little bit more festive right now. You know, we got our Christmas hats on. Yes. Shout out to Publix. And shit, it's making noise too, so that's what y'all hear. And we have our little snowman here with us. What you wanna name him? Steve. Steve? All right, this is Steve. Yeah. Why that come to your, like, why is that the first thing that come to your head? I mean, I was just thinking about a certain kind of Okay, so yeah, this is Steve the Snowman. He is going to be here with us, helping us answer our questions. So this is a holiday q and A. I I mean, really, it's just a regular Q&A, but we- No, it's a holiday q and It is? Yeah. Why do you say that? It's during holiday. Oh, I, I mean, well, it's regular, but we made it holiday by adding things like hats. And also, there are some questions I screenshotted from my Instagram that have like some holiday questions in there, just a few. You want some hot chocolate with this, or you think she'll just- mm. Mm -hmm. Will I drink it? You mm. won't drink hot chocolate? Maybe not right now. Okay, we'll do it you for we'll do it for another video because we have a little. Remember, we got the little balls. Yeah. We'll do that in the next video. But this is our holiday Q and A. You guys, hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And yes, sir. Yeah, that's very important. I screenshot about thirty three questions, but we're not gonna answer all of them. Are you ready for the first question? These are all of our questions right here. You can go first. Clarence can go first. First question: Will you guys be taking family pictures for the holidays? You want to answer that? <laughs> yeah, Queen was just hounding me about what do I want to wear and what kind of shoot do I want to be. So the answer to that one is yeah. Yes, we, we will, will be shooting family pictures for, for the, the holidays. holidays. Yeah. I think that is really really important because back in my days, I mean to be honest, I barely got a lot of pictures of me when I was little. But like I think it's really important for our families to have pictures and for our kids to grow up and show their kids like our family holiday pictures. I think it makes it more special when we have like pictures to look back on and stuff like that. So yes, I was hounding well, him. What was you, you going to say back the, in your day? You just, like I'm just saying back in my days, I took holiday pictures when I was little at um, Walmart. Oh. Well, so, I, I never took holiday pictures. You didn't? No. Yeah, really? Not one time, no. Well, I think it's important that we do it. I think, and Clarence is like, I kept asking him what he want to wear and stuff. He's like, I don't know, babe. I don't know. And I'm just like, babe. Because she said a collar shirt. I'm like, I'm not wearing no, Okay, so shirt. this this year, I know we did like, well, first of I all. I want to do the corny pajamas. We don't either. have to do corny pajamas. For every year so far, we've only did pictures off the iPhone and in front of the Christmas tree with pajamas on. I think this time we should, it should That's be not more. True. What? We we did a shoot with Shot by Set. But that was yeah. for our intro. But we took pictures there too. But that was on a professional camera. That yeah, wasn't. I mean, okay. Well, Legend was super. Super young now they're older and I think I want to go more upper upscale so I think I want the boys to wear like suits and I want to wear a beautiful dress elegant dress and I think it's gonna come out bomb so just trust trust me like I got some I went on Pinterest I found some ideas it's gonna be fire you ready yeah I'm saying you ready for the photo shoot I mean no I'm not ready but you are talking about suits so. okay I'll help you don't worry but yeah, I don't so need help with a suit. No, I'm saying if you don't feel like doing all that stuff, I'll do it for you so oh, it'll no. be easier. Let's go. Cool. Do you guys have worship or prayer on Christmas together as a family? In all honesty, we've never done that. We've never prayed together like on Christmas or anything like that. But like purposefully on Christmas? No, we No, we actually haven't. Have, I think we've prayed though. I mean we've we've prayed together we before. We haven't worshiped though, no, no, no. No, we haven't, but I think I don't know. Like, I think that's, well, you're supposed to worship year, every day. I think last Christmas we was in the other house, I think we did. We did pray? I think we did. Really? Yeah. I don't remember praying together on Christmas. I think we did. But, I mean, I would like to. I think that it's important to pray together as a couple. But, like, worship and prayer, I feel like it's two different things. Do you feel like? Yeah. Like, prayer is like when you just come together, say a quick prayer. But, like, worship, I think it's like a full-on session. Like, you turn on maybe music or something. Yeah, worship, just... I thought it's like, more music and... And like, like rejoicing and celebrating. Yeah. Prayer is kind of like asking for forgiveness, thankful, grateful. Yeah, worship is just yeah. But I mean, yeah, that, just because we thing haven't done it doesn't mean we don't we don't mind doing it. Yeah, I think that'll be good. I think it's always good to include that, incorporate that. Right, it's my turn, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, good question. What is one tradition you want to start doing with the kids? That's for you to answer first. Bro? Yeah, if you... Um, I think maybe one... I think we're doing it more this year than we've done every other year. But, like, in order to, like, get in the spirit... You want to say in the spirit, in the spirit of, like, holidays and stuff, you kind of, like, got to, like, decorate a little more, like... You know what I'm saying? And I, I feel like the tradition of maybe decorating a little more than we normally do, which we're doing this year, one tradition I can think of over like the top of my head right now. Like decorate together? Yeah, because I remember like, like as a kid, I never really got that. But like when you see it as a kid, like it's kind of exciting. It's like... Mm -hmm. I think I'm getting more excited about Christmas than I ever was before. And I don't really know why. Well, first our house helps because like we got a really nice house that like I wanna put things, you know, in. Yeah. And I also wanna feel like, I think it makes me feel more like a, a mom or like a uh -huh. like a woman, like decorating my house for Christmas and festive and like, why not make it fun, you know? Why not? Like, yeah. But I mean, of course this year, we didn't all put up the Christmas tree together. We did last year and stuff. We, like, we had somebody put it up this year. Yeah, just so. cause I, I mean, but it looks beautiful to be honest. Like, yeah, I don't it looks think better I, than ever. Yeah, I don't think I no could've offense. done that. But I do feel like certain things, like I think our kids would love to see the outside of our house decorated too. I went mm -hmm. and showed CJ that house today. He was like, oh, wow. Like, I yeah, think our kids OD, would yeah. love that. That's yeah. OD. So that, that's one of the things I would like to decorate also that outside. They're too. petty for doing that. Yeah, they just like want to show off. Yeah, they're showing off. It's your turn. Oh, it's mine? Let's see what they we got here. They know they have to do a lot. Like their whole front yard is covered in different decorations like crazy 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 okay this is this is a good one and i don't know if like we have one but it says what's one gift you have received from the other and absolutely hated it Go ahead. um <laughs> i don't think i've ever hated a gift that clearance has gotten me i don't think i've hated a gift i feel like when we were together in the beginning like mm. you sleepy no, no. Mm. like when we were together in the beginning like our first christmas together yeah. i remember we were in our first apartment <laughs> what you smiling about <laughs> and i mean of course i've always appreciated everything he's got me but like now that i look back on it one of the things that i probably maybe didn't appreciate as much was the i don't know how to i don't think i hated it though mm, just it. that jacket it was like a it was a, like a, a jacket i had with three colors at the bottom the burberry one the burberry jacket yeah. it had three colors it's not that i didn't like it though it's just that i I just rarely wore it. It's not, I didn't hate it though. Hate is a strong word. I just yeah. think that that's one of the gifts that I like. You never even wore that. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to. It was just so, like, it was white fur and then at the end it was three different colors. So I really didn't, maybe I didn't know how I to I thought you was going to say the Birkin. Cause don't do that, babe. You don't like the Birkin. I do, I love the Birkin. It's just the Birkin's orange and I, you can barely pop out with that, you know? When I had the Birkin in one of the video, No Fake Love, and I took a picture with it, somebody said something about why she just want to hold the Birkin. It don't even go like, and it's just like, it's orange. I was trying to like, but yeah. I guess one gift that you probably got me. I don't think I ever hate it. I'm not going to hate a gift. Um, Absolutely hate it. It's crazy. I think I know which one. <laughs> what? I don't know. It's like, what she was going to say? No, you go first. It's a couple of gifts? Nah. I'm more thinking of like... The gifts you didn't use? Yeah. It, it gotta be probably like... I was gonna say... That rolling tray. <gasps> or, Man, I thought you liked I never that used tray. it though. I never... It was wooden and I already had... I bought him a portable... I mean, not portable. I bought him a rolling tray it that was could travel. A, yeah, like, and I don't travel. <laughs> like, I don't... I'm not trying to travel and roll. You know what I mean? Roll up. Like, it's like a... I just thought that it was thoughtful. But, wow. I didn't think about that. I was thinking about that Louis Vuitton watch I got you that you didn't like. It's not that I didn't like it, but I wasn't going to use it, so... You didn't yeah. like it? Yeah. Okay. Um, I can't really... If I think of anything else, I'll bring it up later on. But answer that one. Go back. Yeah, don't tell me which one that you you got to which one you want to I'm just saying answer like some juicy ones. All right, next question. What is the biggest misconception that people have of you guys? I know it is, but go ahead. Like of us together or like us individually? Probably us together, right? Together. Mm. I, I got one, but I'm going to wait till he go. Like there's a few Can I go first then? Go I'm gonna say it. I feel like one of the biggest, biggest mis misconceptions that people have of us that pisses me off is that I pay for everything. That pisses her off. Like that I pay for everything, that I literally pay for every gift, that I give him money to buy me <laughs> gifts, that he uses my money. I think that that's so stupid and I don't understand how people could think 
that money from YouTube or whatever he like is not as good as any other money. To be honest, like I think that's super crazy. And I think that's also an insult to me. Like, why would I be with someone? It's a big insult to that, you. Yeah, why would I be with someone that I literally have to... You want to be taken care of too? Yeah, like they think that I just pay all the bills in the house. Like, <laughs> they think that I pay every, like, that's insane like no, I very insane we both have our own money and we have individual yeah. i mean we have joint money so i don't know how many times i have to say that but that's a huge misconception people have yeah as a man i really don't like you really touching your wallet like that but i was gonna say that people say that like i don't really want to be with you or something <laughs> like, like i'm kind of just here like like conniving around like trying to conniving like, <laughs> like i'm just out here like plotting and planning and i'm just Oh, like, like that you really like just hate yeah. it here? <laughs> like y'all think that Clarence hated here being yeah. with me. And I think that's also like, I think that's an insult to me and also an insult to you. It's like, come on, bro. It's been six years. Almost six years. Yeah, like, so that's I feel like, like if he wanted to leave, he would have been left. Yeah, exactly. That's and, if, and honestly, we've had some very trying times that could have easily, like, you know, made us leave. Like, but we're still here. And I just... I think that's really funny too. Like, why would two people just be? The, and then we took a long break from YouTube. People used to say it was just for YouTube. We took a break from YouTube, still together. Like, yeah. I don't know why y'all think this man would just be hanging around me. Like, yeah. just like fake in love. Like, that, that's stupid. That's wild. Yeah, I think that's very wild. But though, yeah, those are. Two, I mean, do you want to be with me? Those are two. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, those are two. Those are two misconceptions. I guess Huge. I wasn't even thinking of one that you you said. I just think that's so stupid. They were like, "Oh yeah." Yeah, I don't like, know if you guys. Money? I don't know if you guys know, but like what I do, like and what like everybody else that do what I do, like we make really good money, like really, really good money. I don't want to sit here and like. Yeah. But you know. Like, yeah. And that's without the clothing line. So. Yeah, we be seeing we be seeing each other's checks. So oh, it's your turn because I, I oh, asked that one. Yeah. Okay, um, this is a good one. Okay, this is a juicy one. How do you guys keep y'all relationship together? I seen y'all was on the verge of a breakup. Where did you see that at? I mean, not seen, but like, I've said it. Uh -huh. Like, we've said it before in videos, like oh, a long yeah, time yeah. ago. Like, uh -huh. how basically, how do we stay together? Um, go ahead. Um, I think I'm a huge believer in like time. I feel like time heals all. Like, when you just kind of, I feel like time went by, we allowed ourselves to like, feel what we want to feel or we dealt with certain things like in therapy we did a couple of therapy sessions and i think just talking and communicating and hearing each other out and just forgiveness and stuff and trying to see the other person's side rather than like our own because we both were two different people with different views sure. different raised differently let alone like man and woman like two different the way he handled his emotions the way i handle my emotions totally different it's just a matter of knowing why you got together in the first place or why you fell in love in the first place and just trying to get back to that moment. Not even back to that moment because sometimes you'll never get that moment back, to be honest. Like, But just creating new moments and stuff like that. So, yeah. yeah, like, and realizing what's really important, which is, like, family at the end of the day. You know, family is going to go through things sometimes. So, yeah. anything you want to say? Yeah, I would say the reason why we're together right now would be simply... I know there's other variables, but I think... It, Overall, like the, the the main thing would be communication, in my opinion. You gotta talk. Yeah, like you gotta, you can't really hold things in. I know some people like, I have a tendency to kind of hold things in. I think as soon as like, we got to say how we felt and hear how each other felt, I think that kind of like changed everything. Like even going to therapy had to do with communicating like you know what i mean like you have to communicate in order to go to therapy like it's like and i think like having yeah. the hard conversations to be honest yeah hard conversations for sure i think this is the only relationship i've had those hard conversations and like it's kind of like thrown back at you or like start a new argument like you know what i mean like you get to just be to get to just tell how you feel like i think that 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 has a big reason for sure so i would say to y'all out there that's trying to last, communicate. Communa freaking cake. Oh, do y'all do freaky things while listening to Christian songs? No. No, I don't think I would ever would get you... freaky while listening to Kirk Franklin. Why would you do that? <laughs> and like, it's like, hallelujah. Like, yeah. just <laughs> And it's like very upbeat. It's like very, you No, know? not all Christian songs are upbeat. But Kirk it's Franklin's like, are. I think I would feel very like wrong. 
Hell yeah. I, I would. Doing that to Christian yeah, I music. Wanna. I mean, but I'm not going to lie though. Like some points in my life when we were doing it, I've heard Christian songs in my head and trying to like. What? Yeah, it's like God, gospel music trying to get it on my head. Because <laughs> yeah. like I feel wrong. That's wild. Nah, we don't do that. <laughs> I would never. I wouldn't advise you I don't even think. I don't even think pastors with their wives would do something like that. Like that's weird. You never know. Who, who has holy... Never mind. You never know. That's, that's kinky. <laughs> that's not good. Okay, do you guys see yourselves having another child in the future? In the future, I do see myself having another child. And I think I asked Clarence, did he want to have another child in a couple of years? And when I say a couple of years, I literally mean like two years. I want to like plan out our next child. I want it to be planned because I also want, I want to have an at-home vaginal water birth. My two pregnancies that I had were C-sections and I never got to experience like the beautiful experience of vaginal birth. I, I really want to push my child out and I think I have to prepare my body for that. It's called VBAC, vaginal birth after a C-section. So like I want to prepare myself for that and I think I need to really just be home the whole time I'm pregnant, not do anything. So now is not the time, but definitely in the future. And I really want a girl. Clarence wants another boy and then a girl. Yeah, that might be a lot, but. But I'm hoping to have a girl next. And I'm even thinking about, I don't, I don't know if I believe in it really because I want I want God to give me what he wants me to have. But like some people get to pick their- You wanna pay for a girl? I wanna pay for a girl to make sure, I, babe, if, if we have another child and it's a boy, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You're done? Yes. You retire? Yeah, but then again, it's like, the other part of me is like, I want to make sure I have a girl. But the other part is like, what if God don't want me to have a girl? What if like, yeah, I'm not- The craziest missing? thing that could happen would be like, if you have another boy, right? Mm -hmm. Then you try to get another girl and you get another boy. So then there's two more boys. Oh my God. That would be like worst For case scenario. me and yeah. four boys? That would be worst case scenario. It's, okay, here's the thing. I love boys. I really do. Like my boys are golden. I think it's beautiful, but I really want to experience a, a mini me. Like a mini me? Yeah, I, feel, I mean, I feel you. And then his whole world would change. Like I'm telling y'all, he would be so different as a girl dad. You want to be a girl dad? I haven't really thought about it. I really like being a boy dad. Yeah, because it's easier. If you have a daughter, like watch you change. Your heart is going to melt every single time. She's going to steal his heart. Probably. Right now, I'm yeah. the only girl in the house. So it's like, if we have a daughter, it's going to be crazy. It's very tough and rough around here. It's tough and rough. Yeah, you need to, you need to soften <laughs> up a little bit. <laughs> tough and rough. Would you guys ever consider getting a condo in NYC? Um, yeah, we have already considered it. Not in NYC. Either somewhere around there or LA. It's tough to really pick. I wanna do both. I think we go to LA more, but we really, really like New York and the vibe like there is unmatched. So I think if we do get the place, we'll probably go out there more. But I think we would still end up going to LA more just because it's like business, business, music, and it makes a little more sense for LA because it's further. Like New York is only an hour and a half away. Sorry, I just let my inner thoughts. Intrusive thoughts. Win. Yeah, my yeah. bad. Try to control them. You just bit Steve head. I'm sorry, Steve. And I got some makeup on him. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry, it's Steve. Just little Steve over here a little bit. It was just so little and cute. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, we, we definitely have considered it. And why, You never know. I feel like I you just love know. New York so much. Like, I feel like I'm in a movie when I'm there. Yeah, we really like Las Vegas, too. Las Vegas is Vegas cool. was fire. Okay, what is one of your favorite memories of Christmas as a child? I would say one of my favorite Christmas memories as a child. I grew up kind of, I want to say like completely poor, but I grew up less fortunate. My mom had jobs and stuff like that, but like sometimes it was just hard. It was a portion of my life when times were very hard. And I remember actually it was a Christmas tree about this size right here. And we didn't have enough money for a Christmas tree. And we didn't think it was going to have any gifts. She didn't think it was going to have no gift, gifts at Christmas. But she put like a little tree on the coffee table in the living room. I remember like it being no Christmas gifts under the tree all the way up until the night before Christmas and she came in with a humongous black trash bag and poured out all these wrapped gifts around that tree and like I think it meant so much that even though the tree was small and we didn't get to really decorate it or anything we still were blessed and we you know we still were able to have a good Christmas even when it felt like we wasn't going to up until the last minute, God really made a way for us to have a good Christmas. And as a child, that meant a lot to me. Just me, I don't know, like that makes me a little emotional, but just me like looking at my mom or whatever, like I know it was hard for her being 
a single woman with three kids, you know, like she had faith in God or whatever. And like, he made a way for us to have a good Christmas. So I remember how happy me and my little sister and brother were like, we was so happy. And yeah, that was just a really good, vivid Christmas memory. It was dope. Yeah. Damn, I don't know which one. Does it have to be like a specific memory? You could tell a couple. All right, this one is not a specific memory. It's just more of how it used to be when it was a child. I just enjoyed how like, I don't I don't know if you guys know, but like my old house before I was in the basement, like when I was in Soundview, my house is like, it's like a three story townhouse so like as a kid it was just so much fun there's no strangers living in the townhouse Is like so family? i live me my mom lived on the second floor my grandmother and my cousins and my uncle lived on the first floor and my other cousin aj lived on the top floor with my uncle and my aunt the bottom floor was with little ryan joseph andrew chelsea and my other uncle and it was just like mayhem it was just like literally all doors are open you're running up and down like yo what you got what you got oh what you got it was just like Aww. yeah like and i miss that you know what i mean and when i went home to thanksgiving i noticed that it's not like that anymore and it kind of like it got me a little emotional because it's like damn things have changed people are older some people don't get along like it's just like not the same when you're an adult it's never the same. It's not. It's not. It's, not it's the never same. the same when you're an adult. Like even my mom always say that um, when she was younger, it used to be all her and her cousins, like just cousins on cousins, mm -hmm. like having a good time, and we, they would all meet up at my great grandma's house. And like now, like everybody just so separate. separate. And like I wonder why it's like that. I don't know. I don't. I feel like back in the old days, people appreciated family a lot more than now. I don't. I don't think it's that. I just think people. People get older, grow, like those same kids, like your mom when she was a kid, now they have their own house. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's just, it's just, it's gonna happen. Like I'm pretty sure it's pretty cool for like the kids that are young, but like the older you get, it's just- Yeah, you got your own family. Then, unrealistic. And then if you marry, then you gotta go to your yeah. partner's like family's yeah. house. And so like everything is more and more separated. But I think it would be really good for like, at least one of them days yeah. out the year, everybody to come together. Like yeah. that's what I feel like life is about, and like memories and family and stuff like that. And I, th I would say my other one was my first credit card that was actually like mine, and I could carry around. I got it around Christmas times, around my first job, and it was like the first time I was able to buy everybody something. I maxed out my credit card, even though I couldn't afford it oh, to buy, wow. buy everybody a gift. How old was you? I was probably like, it's probably when I first got uh, kicked out of school. I was pretty like, 18? Yeah, I was like 18. Oh, that's 19 sweet. 18 or something like that. That's sweet. It was cool. Like, everybody wasn't used to it. So, good boy. Mm, this is. What's your favorite holiday scent? Or do you not scent? have a holiday scent? Mm. I kind of like. Is it any holiday or just Christmas? Because I kind of like Thanksgiving scent a little more. <laughs> like, like, them, like the pumpkin, pumpkin and the, yeah. Around this time, people were trying to do like the mint, peppermint. I love the cinnamon. cinnamon. Yeah, I love cinnamon's cool. Like, cool. like right now, that's where, when you come downstairs, our whole downstairs, I got the candles lit. It smell like cinnamon. Yeah. It smell like cinnamon and just warmth. I love that smell. But I like the pumpkin smell too. Okay, that was a quick one. Years passed. How do you feel about each other now? You supposed to answer that first. I mean, obviously, I still, I still love her, but I think my love has grown for for you, cause mm -hmm. like it's like a mature kind of love. It's like <laughs> a a more understanding like not kind a of puppy love. love. Yes, yeah, like I've already made my decision, like that, like my person is you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like it's that kind of love. It's like the I already made my choice. You know. Don't do that, cause you know I get all googly. And butterflies. Yeah. Oh, like, that's sweet. It's kind of, um, yeah. I would say I feel the same exact way. I feel like in the beginning, like you, like it's always like that fresh, that fresh love. And you don't know if you're going to work out with the person or not. But I feel like I've, I made my decision too. I've pretty much like accepted everything that comes with him. Like, and I think I'm okay, okay with spending the rest of my life with everything that comes with him. Even if nothing changes or like, I think right, like, yeah. I'm okay, you know, I'm okay with it. And this is a person I want to build my family legacy with. And I think mine is more of a mature love too. Understanding that like not every single day is going to be perfect yeah. or like roses and like, I mean, that's just realistic love. Like sometimes you wake up with your partner and like 
you ain't feeling it, but you still love them at the end of the day and y'all are gonna be okay. And some days you wake up and love is a choice. Like you choose to wake up and love someone regardless of their ups and downs. And really it's just about having a life partner to do life with. Like life is hard for a person that's alone. Life is hard. Yeah. So it's gonna be hard also with two people together. It's whether or not you want to have a hard life alone or a hard life with a person. Life is not easy, so I think I choose to have my good, my happy moments and my and my down moments with him. Because yeah. either way, it, you know, I would have them. So, Thanks. so yeah, I think that's a cool way to explain it. Oh, this is a good one. If y'all could work any job besides YouTube or music, what would it be? I think yours is easy. Dang. Like, what do you mean job? Like, it has to be a job or? I don't know. Any job. Any so, uh, if the court, okay, you, you answer. If I could work any job besides doing YouTube or doing music. I think I know the answer to your question. Like, if it had no in involvement with social media at all, you think that's? I think I would make a very, very good preschool teacher. I knew it. See? <laughs> I think I'll make a really good pre like child educator. I will go to school for it, of course, but I just really love kids. I love children, and I think I have a lot of patience with kids, regardless of any hardships they got. I think I have a, a lot of patience with them, and I would make a really good... Because I'm, like, really animated. I know how to be animated with the kids, and, like, I just, you know, I would learn to understand kids more and stuff. So that's what I would do. I think I would be some of involving clothes, like a retail store owner, like having my own clothing store. Obviously my own brand, but if y'all trying to talk away, like away from social media and all of that, like entrepreneur stuff and just like a job, it will probably be like a retail store, own, like owner. Manager, yeah, owner. Manager, whatever kind of thing, or like a- How about, would you own a restaurant or? But that's kind of like entrepreneurship. I'm trying mm -hmm. to answer like without the entrepreneurship, like even like a just working at like maybe a luxury store. I think mm -hmm. would be cool. Like, like making commission off of yeah, like Louis Vuitton or something. Mm -hmm. or like I think it'll be a probably good something I would enjoy. Probably you yeah. like yo, bro. These look like yeah, this like, is bro, fire. Come on. You know you want these. Yeah. Right? I feel like you'll make a lot of money. Yeah. I think I'll be very passionate about that. So I think I would enjoy it. And you could, and sometimes what those people at them stores, like they actually get a little bit of style in it. Like this person that worked for Zara, I went yeah, they, in. They become stylists. Yeah. This, this person in Zara actually like styled a whole outfit for me and he was so happy. Yeah. So you could kind of do you that. You actually become a stylist through that, you know, and they make really good money. Yeah. So, um, this is the last question, y'all. What's one major goal for 2024? Major goal for... Major goal for us, I would say, for us together. Uh, there's a bunch of goals I have for us. Uh, uh, one that I would say would be start forming, like, a team. Like, for me Like, a you? goal, yeah, for... Because I, I feel like, well, you have more people than I do, like, mm -hmm. individually, you know? But, like, a lot of y'all probably don't notice, but, like, our brand together, we kind of do everything. Like, there's, for ourselves? Yeah, like, we don't really have a team for us together. So, I feel like there's, like, not a cap, but, like, there's just but so much we can do. Like, we're already both busy individually. I mean, as y'all can see, sometimes our brand together has to take the back seat because we don't have a team like mm -hmm. if we had a team things could keep going even when me and you are not right. as involved so i never want to give this brand up like sometimes it'd be close like be hard like she'll be here and i'll be there and sometimes after we're both done doing what we we do individually we're it'd tired. be hard to come together and get things done and that's why sometimes we go missing for half a month or a month or you know what I mean? But I think if we had a team to say, you know, Hey y'all, make sure y'all do this consistently did, did, yeah, at least. Or do this now so we can so you can have one for this or that or it does and it doesn't have to be YouTube. It could be a team that it can be, go gets us brand deals mm -hmm. or a team that gets Legend and CJ a brand deal or right. like everything right now is a straight off the muscle. Like a lot of times we be in them the meetings for the brands and the emails and it's and just we need some we need a manager basically to manage the both of us. And our oh, brand brands. though, not like individually, you know what I mean? But yeah, that would be it's a lot of, of stuff we can do together. That would be one of my goals for one. 2024. That was the, that would be the goal that I will pick that I hope we achieve in 2024. That'd be good, yeah. Okay, so I, I have many too, but I think one of them is forming a business together outside of social media. Mm -hmm. We already have the social media presence, which we could do better on, but like. 
Why have a social media presence but not have anything to promote? To promote, yeah. Like even besides if it's, a YouTube video. Yeah. Someone also asked, like, will we do a skincare line? I don't know if we'll do that, but we need something together something that, like, like that. when we go to sleep, you know, that it could create like generational wealth. We could make money while we sleep, and then not. I want to just say also, like, I know that's kind of off the topic, but I don't only want to create, like, generational wealth for, like, only my family and my bloodline. I want for us to be so fortunate that we can help people that we don't even know. We don't even know, yeah. Like, I want to help charity. I want to have our own, like, toy and clothes, clothing drives and, like, help homeless people and, and adopt families. And, like, honestly, we, we could have... We need a team. Yeah, yeah. Like, we need a team <laughs> for that stuff. We, we don't... You We've know been talking about that. How we, we wanted to do, like, a, a back-to-school drive for so long but it's like it's hard to do bro, it alone we could barely even book a vacation yeah we, that's <laughs> what i'm saying our vacations are always super last minute like, like it is tough bro i'm not gonna lie bro not to cut you off anything but bro get a team like just get a team it doesn't matter how much money you make it doesn't matter how successful you get it's very hard to do it alone you know it what is. i mean so get a team that's just as passionate as you it makes life so much Go easier crazy, especially yeah. when you can when you're fortunate enough to do it like we should have been had a team but it's just tough you know yeah. but like i think if it's like just a product that we could launch together that's like very successful or even like going in together on a restaurant we love food like we're foodies i think it'd be super dope if we went in together like on a restaurant that everybody came to when they came to georgia like queen of clarence restaurant. yeah like we oh. would name it after us but like you know something that it's the spot people can go to to and like take pictures at promote a vibe, yeah. a vibe we can even do like pop-ups there when we pop up with our i mean just pop up and meet people mm -hmm. i think that'll be super dope so yeah so i think that'll be really good just creating a product a or product, or a yeah. business it's like a outside yeah, of product or business yeah outside of social youtube media. yeah social media so yeah that was our holiday q a i hope that you guys really really enjoyed it i know y'all love when we sit and talk we got some more good content coming for y'all, like holiday or Christmas related stuff coming soon. So yeah, Steve Steve said that he loves to sit here and he was happy yeah. to listen Steve to us. Steve will probably be in the next video. You know yeah, what I'm maybe Steve could be here next Comment. video. Comment, if you guys want Steve in the next video, he'll be in the next video. He not doing nothing. Yeah, he ain't doing nothing but just sitting here with a hat. But okay, y'all, we love you guys and we hope you enjoyed it. And that's about it. Bye. See y'all next video. Close, Mwah. close us out, Steve. Steve, close us out. Bye, Steve. One. One. I know. I'm just playing. <laughs>